Good morning. Let me welcome you all to the first video of English Lecture Notes. Today's topic of discussion is Biography of Robert Louis Stevenson. Robert Louis Stevenson holds an important position in the minds of many readers. He was born on the 13th of November 1850 and died on the 3rd of December 1894. Stevenson was born at Edinburgh, Scotland. You can see that place here. It is in Scotland. He was the only son of Thomas Stevenson and Margaret Isabella Balfour. His father was a prosperous civil engineer. He was born in this house. Have a look at this picture. He was a 19th century Scottish novelist, poet and travel writer. Ok fine that's all about his personal life. Now about his works. His notable works are Treasure Island, Kidnapped, Strange Case of Dr. Jekyll and Mr. Hyde, and A Child's Garden of Verses. He is currently ranked as the 26th most translated author in the world. About Stevenson we can say that he now is ranked among the 26th most translated author in the world. His first printed work is The Pentland Rising. Stevenson traveled often, and his global wanderings contributed to his fiction. He was often abroad, usually for health reasons. Another thing added that his father paid for his first publication. His first literary volume is An Inland Voyage, it was published at the age of 28. One more thing all of you should keep in mind An Inland Voyage is a travelogue. It contains his travel from Antwerp to northern France. It was followed by a companion work, Travels with a Donkey in the Savens, 1879. One thing I have to say is that this work is considered as the pioneering classic of outdoor literature. This period produced the humorous essays of Virginibus Querisk and other papers, 1881, which were originally published from 1876 to 1879 in various magazines. Do you know it is a collection of short essays and mostly a record of Stevenson's opinions, which means, largely, of his likes and dislikes. He met the woman who would become his wife, her name is Fanny Osborne, in September 1876. Stevenson's first book of short fiction is New Arabian Nights. She was a 36-year-old American who was separated and had two children. The two married in 1880, and remained together until Stevenson's death in 1894. Stevenson's took a three-week honeymoon at an abandoned silver mine in Napa Valley, it is in California, from that travel emerged the work The Silverado Squatters, 1883. Stevenson's other short stories are Thrawn Janet, 1881, The Treasure of Franchard, 1883, and Markheim, 1885. He suffered from hemorrhaging lungs. While in this bedridden state, he wrote some of his most popular fiction, most notably Treasure Island, 1883, Kidnapped, 1886, Strange Case of Dr. Jekyll and Mr. Hyde, 1886, and The Black Arrow, 1888. Stevenson died of a stroke on December 3, 1894, at his home in Valima, Samoa. He was buried at the top of Mount Weir, overlooking the sea. Have a look at this picture. This is the tomb and burial place of that great writer. His stories are undoubtedly classics of literature. His wide imagination in any things is from his life experience itself. Because in most of his life he was in sickbed. One interesting thing is that his nurse was a good storyteller. Exactly Stevenson's illness magnified his ability to write. In short we can say that he is still living through imagination. Let me conclude this discussion by a quote by Stevenson. Don't judge each day by the harvest you reap but by the seeds that you plant. Thank you for watching.